Hey guys, it's Jango J, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Pixmon 3.2 Pokedex Adventures. And guys, it's a bit of an unorthodox start today, but if you have a look, it's a bit of a weird place to be starting in a Pixmon series or a Pixmon adventure. It's I'm in a cave right now, and you're, you're like, why am I in a cave? Well, I came down into the cave um, to find a little bit of gold and some resources like some iron and bauxite, and uh, I got all that. Found plenty of diamonds. This was like very rich. Very few few rich veins of diamonds, but look what I found. This right here is a fossil, and you, if, you, if you've been tuned in for the series for a while, you know I need to find a Helix fossil. A few other fossils as well, but the Helix fossil is one of the first 151 Pokemon that I've been needing to find for a while. Um, so I've, I wanted to do this on camera so you guys didn't think I planted it. It's here naturally. I was just chopping out some of this gravel, or mining out some of this gravel, and this fossil just appeared right in front of me uh, which is insane I haven't I've been I found like two of these the whole series I think um, but I searched this whole ravine I couldn't find any other fossils and right as I'm on my way out I'm gonna nerd pole up that way climb out that way and I find a fossil so let's grab this one um, hopefully it's something we need um, all right let's see what it is um, what do we we'll just chuck out some gravel I guess okay I covered no way I don't know what that is but that does not look like a helix fossil I think that's an old amber fossil, in which case I don't need an old amber fossil. Um, dang it, I really didn't want an old amber fossil. We're going to have to go home and check that out. So we're going to go do that right now. We'll teleport back home. Uh, we're, we're base. We'll go back to our base. And I've, I made this a little, a little bit of a lab, I guess you could call it. Um, it's nothing compared to the one I had in my first season, but it's just like a makeshift lab for now. It's going to have to do... Um, unfortunately, well, let's wait for this to, let's wait for this to, um, clean, I guess, so we can work out what it is before I go on to anything else. Um, but this episode, I want to get my Eevee up to an Umbreon. If you have a look, I've done a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of letting him run around. He's now up to 192 happiness. So we're going to throw him out and he's going to get, gain some of that happiness. Oh, this is an old Amber Fossil. That's not what I needed. Oh, I've already got an old amber fossil. If you've only just tuning in, I've I've already got Eevee. Get out of the wall. I've already got an old amber. Did he just run back into the wall again? Get get out of the wall. Stand there. Okay. I already have an Aerodactyl. Whereabouts is he? Wait, do I not have an Aerodactyl? I could have sworn I had an Aerodactyl. Maybe I don't have an Aerodactyl. No, I definitely do. Ready? If we go to the Pokedex, um, Aerodactyl. Yep, there we do. We definitely have an Aerodactyl, so I didn't need that one. I kind of wanted one that I didn't have. I've, I wanted a Helix Fossil for sure, but any any fossil that I already didn't have would have been better than that, to be quite honest with you. Uh, let's stick away some of this gold and diamonds. All this, all these minerals were very, very rich, I guess, in the cave. That's not the right spot for that. It's a very rich mineral cave, you could say. Um, I found plenty. This cobble doesn't belong in here. Um, what else can we stick away? We're gonna stick all, all this junk away. Um, and go out looking for some new Pokemon to catch. And this Dragon Scale is actually something really cool that I found out. So last episode when I found it, I didn't know what the Dragon Scale was. And I was I went and did some research on it. And apparently, if you give the... Oh shoot, why did I put that there? That there, that's in the wrong spot. So if you give the Dragon Scale to a Seedra... Um, there's, there he is. Uh, the Seedra will, upon trading, be uh, evolve, I guess. Evolve into... A Kingdra. Now it's not actually implemented in Pixelmon yet. I was looking at the Pixelmon website. Um, it's not actually implemented just yet. So, but I'm I'm pretty sure they'll be implementing that within the next few updates. I would say if they've already got the Dragon Scale in here, that is. So that's really really good news. Um, that's really exciting anyway. So we'll be able to get a Seedra in here eventually. Um, but for now we can't get him. So for now, let's get our Flaffy back. Let's let's organize this a little bit better. Um, we need to put Sableye over here, put you in that spot, um, and Soul Rock, we don't need you anymore, you can go over here, um, Gigalith, we've already got you, uh, not, not Gigalith, sorry, Girafferig, you can go over there, and Torchic, I want to start leveling up Torchic as soon as possible, but for now, I want to get my Eevee up, where's Eevee, Eevee's still out, how much happiness is he at at the moment, 198, so he's getting up there, we need to go... We actually need to go... Oh, it's becoming night time. 
Ah, you need to get some happiness really quick, Eevee. Let's go and get some battles on you because we need to get you up into an Umbreon um, this episode, like right away. The quicker, the, the sooner, the better, honestly. Um, so you, we need to get some pokey battles on you. Send, make sure he's running around, getting that happiness up really quickly. Gloom, what level are you? Doesn't matter, we're versing you. We're versing you, Eevee. Oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. You cannot, uh, do you not have quick attack? Apparently he doesn't have quick attack. Okay, I could have sworn he had quick attack. Why are his moves different? Uh, that's strange. Anyway, let's get our, let's take down Eve, uh, Gloom, try and get some happiness, and then we can get our Umbreon. Um, now I can't, I gotta, I gotta do it at night time. If I accidentally level him up during the day, and it evolves into an Espeon, I'll be so upset, because I already have the Espeon, obviously. Um, well, yeah, I already have the Espeon, so I don't need to get another one. I want the Umbreon, and I don't want to have to try and get up happiness on another Eevee. After this one, that's the last amount of happiness we're going to need. Alright, he needs to run around for a little bit. Um, where can we... Are there any Pokemon around here we can catch? I wonder if there's any nighttime spawns, actually. That's another thing that i got to do. i got to get a Leafy on. Um, so i got to go catching some more Eevees, um, but for the, for the time being... I just got to get this Eevee up into an Umbreon, so that's that's going to be pretty. That's pretty essential. I need him to get his happiness up really quickly. We might verse this level 17 Meowth. Yeah, where'd he go? Level 17 Meowth. Let's get it going. I want this Umbreon. It just just has to happen. Um, but let's get him. Let's kill him. Kill him and see what we can do. Actually, yeah, give up on learning Charm. Um, why? Are, I swear his moves have been reset. Why is that? Why is Eevee's moves? Why? Why does it? Why has it differed? Two hundred and seven happiness. Okay, we are getting there. What does it need to be? Does it have to be like two hundred and twenty or something? I, th I want to say two hundred and twenty, but I'm not sure. We're gonna let him run around for a little bit longer. I do. I probably should be. What does this Kadabra think he's doing? What a jag! He somehow got into my house. I'm sorry, the Kadabra, you cannot be in here. We need to take you down, but super effective, my man. And you're going to be kicked out of my house as easy as that. What the hell? He's still here. Can we get another battle on him? I will take that. Did he... Honestly, stop glitching in the, my floor. Get out. Get out of my house. Bite. I'll bite you to death, bruh. There we go. Crit, you're gone. Um, how much happiness on Eevee? 207. Just, just gain the happiness, bruh. Just hurry up. I should also... Uh, try and get something happening. And by something, I mean a, gold, a, a rare candy. And, hey look, Aerodactyl's here. Um, we'll grab him, we don't really need him. We've already got one, unfortunately. There you go, Aerodactyl, you stay in, you can stay in there. We've already got one. I wish that was a Helix fossil, or, or any of the other fossils, to be quite honest with you. Any of the other ones would have done, um, but that one just wasn't one we wanted. All right. How much happiness you're at? 207. We kind of need to be running around for him to gain happiness. What was I doing? I need to craft myself a golden apple. So we're going to get one golden apple. Um, and with a golden apple, we're going to make a rare candy. Now we go like this, go like this, and like that. Get one rare candy, and that's all we can do for now. Uh, that's why I was. That's why I went hunting for gold, so I can get some more. So I can get some more rank rare candies as soon as possible, as soon as I start smelting all that, we can get some rare candies. What is that? It's a Voltorb. I was like, what is that guy? Um, I wonder if we can... Let's go, Eevee. Get me... Try and level up naturally, otherwise I'm gonna... I'm gonna use that rare candy on you, and we can get uh, some... some force leveling, I guess, and we'll get you an, an Umbreon. There was no way that was a shiny Ghastly, was it? I don't think so. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I hope it wasn't a shiny Ghastly and it just despawned. Don't think it was. If it was, I'd be very upset, but you know, I don't think it was. Um, Lampant over there. Now, how much happiness is he at? I want to say he's at 210. I don't want to, I don't want to waste this, this rare candy. That's the thing. I'll get him up to 220, and then we'll try to get ourselves an Umbreon out of it. Um, I also want to go try and catch a few more Pokemon. Um, in what biome? In the Mesa biome. There's so many, there's so many Pokemon over there that I haven't caught yet. Um, so I need to go make that happen. Level 46 Hypno. You're going to give me this level whether you like it or not. Let's swap out to Rayquaza. Dang, that's a huge... That's a that's an incredibly uh, bulky... Bulky Hypno there. Now, why did I not get a level out of that? How much XP do I have? Through the charts! 
Wow, that is literally through the charts. That's incredible. <laughs> it's like broken the charts. Oh well. Hopefully on the next one we'll get an evolution. So where did that Ratatata go? Ratata. Let's let's do this. Get give me my Umbreon. Give it to me. No. Okay. He gave me seven XP. I can see why he didn't give it to me. Um, let's first this Jiggly Jigglypuff's gone. Okay. Let's first a Magic Cut. Um, maybe that'll do it. Level seven. Level. S Grass, get out of the way. You're blocking my Pokeball. Level 7 Magikarp. Let's do it. Um, okay. Hopefully he's got enough happiness. Hopefully he breaks... Alright, I'm just... What's his happiness at? Honestly, I'm done. 219. As soon as he hits 220, I'm giving him the... I'm giving him the rare candy. And I think we should be set. We should be set. Because I'm pretty sure it's 220 happiness, not 210 or 200. So, I... Don't quote me on that. I'm just, I'm just hoping. I've only got one chance, one little chance with my uh, rare candy, so I can't waste it. What are you, what's your happiness at now? 219. All right, we're going to go on a bit of adventure, I think. So if we go to the Mesa biome, which is I found it, we might be able to get your happiness up a little bit more. We're going to a different biome. Hopefully you like, hopefully you like it, I guess, to get your happiness up, um, and then we can make it happen. Who do we want to verse? The 41 Golette. Damn, we are taking on this Golette. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, let's let's get it done. We're going to send out Rayquaza. And we're going to go with the Crunch. And the Crunch is going to give us the level we need to get our Umbreon. Didn't even need to use the Rare Candy. That is what I like to see. I'm hopefully... I'm hoping that the Eevee is about to evolve into an Umbreon and not like an Espeon or something and completely mess me up. But I'm fairly, fairly positive. We are getting an Umbreon right here, right now, which is perfect. Tick Umbreon off the list, which is Umbreon's done. That's what I like to see. So now we're going to swap Umbreon with Anorith and try to get Anorith a few levels. So we need to find, should we sleep? We don't need it to be nighttime. Oh, uh, there's, a, there's a yellow boss diglet. Oh, let's do it. Umbreon, I mean Anorith, let's do it. Get you some mad XP, get you some mad levels. And let's just do it. Let's. Oh, I hopefully. Oh, could imagine if you dropped a Master Ball. Oh, that would be perfect. My Master Ball slot is empty. I'm, I don't have any Master Ball. So if he drops a Master Ball right now, I'm going to be the happiest mother fudger out. He dropped a. What ball is that? It's not a Master Ball, unfortunately. Uh, well, he dropped a whole bunch of stuff. He dropped a Level Ball, Rest, Psychic, Stone Edge, Sunstone, Diamond Hammer. But not a Master Ball. Unfortunately, there was no Master Ball to be seen. Which is, yeah, good and bad, I guess. Um, but no Master Ball to be seen. Not today, anyway. Maybe next time. That's a... That's... What a jag. No Master Ball. I would have loved to see a Master Ball appear. Um, but now it's daytime. We can hopefully... Hopefully find some higher level... Higher level Pokemon. And... Ooh, there's a Bagon. What level? 18. I've already caught a Bagon. I've already got a Salamance, actually. Don't even need to touch that guy. Um, but wouldn't mind Anorith. If he can get some mad XP on a few few Pokemon, um, get him up to Armaldo. I think that's the one. Armaldo. Armaldo. A hard Pokemon to pronounce. Armaldo. Something like that. Um, but yeah, if we can get him up to an Armaldo. Now we've got Umbreon, Armaldo. Armar yeah. Let's just go with it, Armaldo. Um, and then we'll get two ticked off the list. I wouldn't mind a third. Maybe we can catch, catch some of... Oh! Another boss, a green boss Sandshrew. Let's take it. Ooh, there's some Metagross. That's cool. Maybe we can try catching Metagross. Let's first, first of all, first and foremost, let's take down this green boss. If he, if a yellow boss, if this green boss was to drop me a Master Ball and the yellow boss didn't, could you imagine like the, how messed up that would be? Um, but we'll take it. I will take it. Um, swap out to Rayquaza, get some mad XP, hopefully level up our... Uh, Anorith to a Armaldo. Um, I think that's, yeah, that's, I'm gonna go with that. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Master Ball time, baby! Wait, what am I? No, stop. Extreme speed, eh? Honestly, I wouldn't mind getting rid of Fly just because it's a two turn move, but in saying that, Extreme Speed is a good move, but not for this series that I'm on. He dropped a berry. He dropped a Rost berry. No Master Ball coming out of that guy. I wonder if we can catch a Metagross. Or I wonder if we can use him for some levels, actually. Uh, level 58. I'd prefer to I'd prefer to catch a Beldum and level him up from start. So let's try and take him down. 
Wow, he's flying really high. I know that even if, even if even if he's in a battle um, with this new update, they haven't quite fixed it yet. Even if he's in a battle and he and you throw a pokeball at him, you can still force battle him, which is quite weird. I know, but it it's fine with me. I get an, I get like a battle with a with a weakened Pokemon. It's not the worst thing. All right, level thirty eight, Fury Cutter. We'll get rid of Harden. Oh, level thirty eight. He needs two more levels. He needs two more levels. Anyone want to come out of the, come out of your shrubs, come out of the rough, and battle? Like some high levels. I'm not talking like measly levels. We're talking high level Pokemon. There's a Laron. Perfect. We're gonna go. We're gonna go versus that Laron, because Larons are known to be quite bulky. Um, so let's. Can we go for a long range poke poke battle? Long range poke battle. Oh, that was so close. But oh, please still be there. Yes, 49. Look at that. They're known to be bulky, I'm telling you that. They're just a bulky guy. Um, all right, let's let's make a ancient power happen. Get, oh, we can go with a crunch. I, I'm not, oh, there's a Salamance over there. We can go versus him, he'll be some high level. He'll be a high level Jag, okay. Although there's also an Aggron here. Who's the high, there's two Aggrons here. Okay, two beats one, so we're gonna verse this Aggron. Unfortunately, a bit of a massive crash at a crucial time, which really sucks. I could have sworn that I had fixed the crashes, but apparently not. There's a pack of Laprises over there, that's quite cool, or a pack of Lapri. Uh, unfortunately, I don't need the Lapri for this series, so we're not gonna, or a Lapras for this series, so we're not gonna worry about it. Um, but yeah, the Agrons despawned. Oh, we got some Lairons. I guess we'll take it. Sometimes the Lairons are stronger than the Agrons, which is quite weird. Level 50, level 51. You know what? I'll take it. We got two. Is that a boss there? Is that a boss, Doug Trio? I think it is. Um, all right, let's run. Let's run. Oh, that, is that a boss? That has to be a boss. It looks like that's another. That's a that's a yellow boss, Doug Trio. <gasps> so we got a yellow boss. Have we got two yellow boss, Doug Trios? Wait, I can't get up there. I was like, why can't I get up? Two yellow boss, Doug Trios. That is sick. Was that? Yeah, have we got. Wow. What are the odds of that? I don't even care. Will this, will the second yellow boss drop me a master ball? Will I even be able to take him down? That's, oh shoot. Oh shoot, if I can't take him down, I'm not gonna be able to, oh. Oh, please crit, please crit. No, he killed me. Huh. Um, I think we're about to lose this yellow boss, unfortunately. Uh, yep, he's gonna absolutely wreck my whole team. Uh, all right, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. And then I'm gonna pokey heal. I'm gonna do a cheeky pokey heal. I hope you guys don't. I can't run from this battle. Are you kidding me? All right, we're gonna have to try to do our best. Yep, there we go. And we're down to our last two Pokemon. Pursuit. Oh, oh, let's do it. Oh, oh my God. Come on, Scyther, clutch it. Oh no, Umbreon, go for the clutch, my friend. You son of a. Oh yeah, you're dead. All right, we're gonna do a cheeky pokey heal. Um, just because I'm not losing a yellow boss, I can't believe it. Yeah, we're definitely not using, we're definitely not losing another yellow, or we're not losing a yellow boss. I'm just not, I'm just not happening. Now, although, if Rayquaza can't get this done, I don't know if we're going to be set. Okay, okay, we're, we're going to be set. I take that back, I take that back. <gasps> Look at that, that's drops for days. I don't see a Master Ball. Oh, a Razor Fang! That's huge, I've been looking for a Razor Fang for so long. Oh, that is huge. Look at the loots. He just dropped so much. Uh, let's get rid of the redstone. Wow, that was some insane loots, but still no level on Anorith. I guess we sent out Rayquaza first off, which was quite stupid. Um, if we can get an Almaldo before the end of the episode, that would be good. That would be two Pokemon we can tick off the list. And we'll be down to, I don't even know how many. We'll have like 45 left, I think. And they're just the Jags that are like really rare spawns and stuff that we're going to have to work on. What? He roared me away. Seriously, bruh, I don't have time. Don't have time for this. My Rayquaza's really taking a bit of a beating. I probably should have brought uh, Kyogre to this biome, to be quite honest with you. Kyogre would have had the upper hand. Fudge this. You are such a jack. You just roared me twice. Alright, reverse Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn wants to battle. We're gonna... What level is he? 48. We could probably take a few hits, to be quite honest, with Anorith. Um, one. We'll take two. We'll take... Damn it! Oh, he got wrecked. Okay, that was, that was silly on my behalf. Wow, I can't believe he just got so wrecked so easily as well. Um, how many levels are you going to get? Um, just just give it to me. Give it to me. Um, Alright, I'm going to 
pokey heal once more. I'm sorry, I haven't done it like I haven't done it at all the entire season one and season two. So I am taking two pokey heals that are that are owed to me. And oh my god, that's a shiny Beldum. That is a mother fudging shiny Beldum. Oh my god, that's a shiny Beldum. No way, we found a shiny Beldum. Oh my god, and it didn't crash. It did not crash. Oh my god. What? That's a shiny Beldum. All right, we've got to catch this. Now, guys, we are like 20 minutes into the episode. Beldums are, not are known, are notoriously known for being an impossible catch rate. And we just found a shiny Beldum. Oh my god. Now, I don't have any Master Balls on me. I know that Beldums are almost as impossible to catch as a Mewtwo. So this is a huge, huge battle right here. No, he took down my Flaff. Oh, he just killed himself. He just killed himself with a takedown. No. All right. Well, um, we found that legitimately. I am doing Pokey Spawn. What's the command? Pokey Spawn Beldum uh, S. I'm I'm spawning in a a Beldum, a shiny Beldum. And we're going to try and catch him again. We're going to get two chances at this. I'm not going to do any damage to him. We're going to get two attempts at this. And please, please catch. I don't want you to kill yourself. I can't believe that. You're such a jag. Um, I'm pretty sure Flaffy has like a stun spore or something. I can't believe he just killed himself. I should have thought about that. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind that I respawned him in. Uh, it's a bit of a jag move. I but, Cotton Spore, that's not going to do anything. Uh, it's a bit of a jag move, I know, but, shoot, does he not have any Thunder Shock? That's not Thunder Wave. Oh, he doesn't have anything that's going to paralyze him. Dang it. All right, uh, we're going to try and catch him then. Uh, Ultra Ball. Uh, I'm not letting a shiny Beldum go to waste, guys. I hope you don't mind. Two attempts um, at this, and hopefully we can catch him. I know his... I don't even know if we're going to be able to catch him, to be quite honest. If he He's going to do t uh, takedown every single time. I don't have a Master Ball. Uh, this is going to be real, real difficult. I can't believe I saw that as well. Up on the top of the cliff, I saw a shiny Beldum. Um, but uh, I'm honestly, I don't have the best... I'm not... Yeah, I'm just not too confident right now. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch him. He's, his catch rate, if you don't know... His catch rate is like a almost as hard as a Mewtwo, and it's said that you can't catch him. Well, it's hard to catch him without having a Master Ball on hand. Now, this is this is going to be very hard. I wish there was a way of healing my opponent because he's taking some real damage. Oh my God! Please catch. This is the second one. I don't want to attack him at all. I don't want to give him more of a chance. Oh my God. Oh, I don't want to give him more of an a chance, more of a chance to kill himself by like attacking him. Oh, okay. Well, if he's missing, just catch. I don't want to spawn in a master ball or something. There is a shiny Beldum sitting in front of me, and I want to catch him. I want to catch this Jag. Please happen. Please make it happen. He's just popping out of every single one, and he's paralyzed as well. I am like face palming right now. If I don't, if I can't catch this guy, I'm gonna be so upset. Oh, there's a takedown. There's a oh. What if I sand attack? He, it'll lower his accuracy, and he won't be able to hit those takedowns, and he won't be able to hit with recoil. <gasps> Let's do it. Let's do it. Sand attack. Okay, it has no effect. He has lowered. Okay. Um, a bag, ultra ball. Come on. I will use all my ultra balls if that's what it takes. Oh, I can't believe it. We we have to catch this guy. I don't want to... I don't want... I, oh, I'm just lost for words. A shiny Beldum. One of the coolest Pokemon and a shiny. And also, one of the hardest Pokemon... One of the hardest Pokemon that are to catch. It's almost like finding a shiny Mewtwo. But it's not. It's a shiny Beldum and his catch rate is just as hard as a Mewtwo. And he's... I'm going to run out of Pokeballs, to be quite honest with you. I'm going to run out of Pokeballs. The second attempt at the shiny Beldum. 
Oh my god, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. I thought we had him. Four Ultra Balls left. Oh, he's just popping. He popped literally instantly. Oh my god, please catch. Please. Oh, one, two. No, he popped. Fudge you! I want to kill you, but I don't because you're like the rarest find. Why couldn't why couldn't one of those yellow bosses have dropped me a Master Ball? And why couldn't I have just run over, caught him with a Master Ball? Just been like, GG. Um, a shiny, shiny Metagross, um, eventually. Oh, that was my last Master Ball. I thought I had him. Uh, my last Ultra Ball, sorry. And now he's in red. Guys, I think this is a bit of a lost cause. A great ball. He's about to kill himself. If I don't catch him this time, which I'm not going to be able to, he's going to kill himself. Oh, he cannot move. This paral the paralysis is all that I have. Oh, oh, there we go. Struggle. And he killed himself. And GG. All right, guys. I am absolutely um, distraught, I guess you can say. Um, just so sad right now. Uh, let me know if you guys think I should spawn in a shiny Beldum. I don't think... Oh. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode nonetheless. It has been an awesome episode. Two yellow bosses, um, Umbreon, and a shiny Beldum. This is just an insane episode, and a Razor f and a Razor Fang, which is huge. Guys, if you want me to spawn in a Shiny Beldum and get a Shiny Metagross eventually, let me know. That would be huge. That would be the, co the coolest thing. I don't know if you guys would say yes, but if you do, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. Guys, that's going to be the end of today's episode. Leave a like if you have enjoyed, and I guess take care. Bye, guys.